In this tutorial, I will show you how to display attributes using different styles on your forms and how to add conditional presentation rules to your forms. Please make sure that you watch the forms tutorial before watching this one. You can easily change the look and feel of the controls and labels shown on your forms. Let me show you an example. In the issue resolution sample application, we have a form that shows a staff member. Let's open it. By default, we have labels and controls displayed using the style set to them by the current theme used in the application. But we can apply our own styles to the individual labels and controls. Let's, for example, change the background color of the first name control. To do this, I select the cell that holds the control and click on the input control style property. I will explain this dialog in a more detail a little later. Now let's just change the background color of the control. Let's now change the color of the label. To do this, I select the label style property and then change the foreground color. When I change the color, the new style is applied to the label of the control. Let's now look at the style dialog in a little bit more detail. Here I can change not only colors, but also fonts, borders, all or individual ones, add padding and margins, and even shift an element relative to his default position. Let's make the borders of the control red. And let's now turn left and right borders off. And now let's shift an element slightly to the right. Behind the scenes, a Varam applies a CSS style to the element. You can see the CSS that a Varam applies here. CSS styles are very flexible and have more options than what you can achieve using the controls of this dialog. So if you are familiar with the CSS technology, you can enter the CSS style directly here. The styles created using the input control style and label style properties are applied unconditionally. However, there is a way to apply styles based on certain conditions. For example, we may want to display the type of an issue in one color if the issue is a bug and in a different color if the issue is a task. This is achieved using a concept called presentation rules. Presentation rules apply certain properties, such as styles, to attribute cells conditionally or unconditionally. Let's set presentation rules to the type attribute of the issue object. We will delete what is already there and recreate these presentation rules. So I click on the presentation rules property and add a new rule. So the condition here is issue type equals bug.
The type of the element is style, it's already pre-selected, and the color is this one. And the next rule will check if the issue type is a task. And the color will be this one here. We do not see the colors in the selected cell because the rules are conditional. A condition in a presentation rule is optional. If it is omitted, the rule is unconditional. In fact, when we apply styles using the input control style and label style properties, we create presentation rules. Let's just quickly do it again. If we click on the presentation rules property, we can see that two rules have two unconditional rules have been created. In one rule, the first rule is applicable to the input control only, and the second rule is applicable to label only. Presentation rules can be applied not just to attribute styles but to other presentation elements as well. We can see some possible types here. If we select a label, for example, we can say that on this form the system will display one label if an issue is a bug and a different one if it is a task. So if it's a bug, we'll display this uh, to a label. And if it's a task, then we'll display this label. Or we could specify that on this particular form, the attribute is invisible, if it's a bug or unconditionally. So if it's a bug, the attribute becomes invisible on this particular form only. Or we could say that some attribute which is normally not required, like priority here, is required on this particular form, again conditionally or unconditionally. And if an attribute is a date or a number, like the due on attribute here, we could also specify a display format of the attribute, different from the format specified for the attribute itself, again on this form only. So you can see that presentation rules can be really powerful and flexible.